I know I can't do Lulu justice to this, but it was the best thing she ever gave me. <clears throat> In the night, though we're apart, there's a ghost of you within my haunted heart. Ghost of you, my lost romance, lips that laugh, eyes that dance. Yeah, yeah, but uh, still not as bad as uh, the last wildfire now, is it? My father lost his home in that fire. How is Marvin doing anyway? It's Melvin. Thanks, Mom, for taking care of Sally. Huh. I know she can be a handful sometimes. She's fine. She's fine. Any time, Paul. You know, take all the time you need, okay? Yeah. All right. Made you an Elizabeth dinner. It's on the counter. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. Be good. Okay. Grandma? Yes. Do you think Daddy likes me? Darling, why would you even ask that? I don't know. He's always mad when I'm around. Oh, that has nothing to do with you. Paul's going through a really tough time right now. In fact, both your parents are going through a really, really rough time. Can we go bake some cookies? I don't see why not. I'll be right there. Bad enough it happened. Now he'll have an excuse that excuses him forever. It's like killing her again. Come on. In the real world, we're not all geniuses. We can't have whatever we want whenever we want it. We can't indulge ourselves 24 hours a day. You really think I'm a genius? You are such an asshole. Someone has to remember what really happened, or else it's like all his paintings, all fake, all art. Let me tell you, there's life, and there's art, and they're different. 60 miles away, and asks her to meet them at the town's only clinic. I could hear Kayla in the background screaming. Is that Kaylin? I'm on my way. I'm leaving right now. I was in a panic. Three minutes later, this weather, Kayla needs to be transported to the closest hospital. Kayla's mom finally reaches the clinic. I really was panicked, and I dared. You don't have time to wrap your head around it. Nikki gets in Robin's car to follow the ambulance. And outside, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. In these conditions, cars are at risk for being blown right off the road. Out in the storm, Kayla's mother Robin and best friend Nikki finally make it the last few miles to the hospital. When they arrive, they are unaware that Kayla has already delivered a healthy, full-term baby girl. 